What's up everyone, Format here with another NBA Infinite video for you. Victor Wembiyama is here, and as you can tell from other content creators, he's going to be insane. They be like, hey Brandon, what you got on? Don't worry about it, don't worry about it sweetheart. Don't worry about it sweetheart. It's that splash. That's that splash right there. So I had some IC I was able to end up spending on Victor Wembyama. He's one of those characters that I definitely want to be interested in just because he's a power forward. Hopefully similar play style that I could end up pulling. But I also do have my Giannis already. For example, Wemby has a 725 block rating. Somebody like that is like an Anthony Davis who has a 751 at rank 1. In comparison, you're basically going to be saving a lot more gold if you end up chasing Wemby over another defensive big player. Wemby's exclusive skill, Feisty Finisher, gives a movement speed when running away from the basket, gives a block success rate of 4%, a dunk rate of 5%, and a block resistance rate of 10%. If this isn't screaming defense, I really don't know what to tell you. Not to mention his dominance skill is defensive, which gives him an additional block success rate of 5%. On offense, Wemby has five hotspots to select from. Three from beyond the arc, two inside, and one underneath the basket. Wemby's abilities give him a versatile play style that you could either try to work inside the paint or also try to work around your character with the potential of having an open shot that is going to be hard to contest. Now, I wouldn't go crazy shooting from beyond the arc. If you're open, go ahead and take it. But there might be the option to make a better play happen for your teammates because of your versatility. Now when it comes to Wemby, what I realized when I actually jumped into my first rank 1 game as well as rank 2 game in Hall of Fame, I really struggled with playing defense against other shooting forwards like Jason Tatum. They just happened to be too quick for me to end up keeping up. So if you end up staying in the paint, yes you can be a defensive powerhouse, however you end up leaving your opponent with the possibility to pop that 3 pointer. Being an epic card, I think Wemby is the perfect pickup if you're lacking that defensive presence on your team. If you're playing 5v5 Dynasty, he's definitely going to end up getting a few blocks. If you're playing 3v3, you'll definitely be able to protect the rim and get some rebounds. Some of you may be asking, why would I want to chase a Wemby when I end up having an R6 Giannis? To be honest, I'm not. Wemby's stats overall are too low for me compared to my Giannis. There's no point for me to end up playing with somebody to play, put me at a disadvantage when I have a clear edge over the opponent. Like I said before, I think Wemby's a solid pickup if you're lacking that defensive presence. But I'm so close to getting a Giannis R7 that it's too hard for me to justify not getting that gold to trade these cards to end up getting my Giannis ranked up. Don't be discouraged if you can't get wins with Wemby early on. I feel like you don't unlock his full potential until you get him to rank 4 when you end up having all his skills unlocked that you can invest in. So that's just my opinion on Wemby. Here's some gameplay and I hope to catch you guys on the court. Thank you. 